Sometimes, actually quite often, we criticize our city of Prague because we live in it and we also love it. And quite often we criticize things that can be changed with a flip of a switch. And sometimes that is literal. So today we're going to show you things that we would change that really require very little work, but will change a lot for better. Now, the first thing that we would change is something that I have personally never noticed. It never bothered me until Honza pointed it out to me. And since then, I can see it. And that is that on this subway station, all the escalators, all the moving stairs are going in one direction, and that is up. And you may think, well, yeah, going up is harder. Therefore, all of them should go up. But what if you need to go down, for example, with a stroller? Not my case, his case. <laughs> Since then, I've been observing at this station, for example, elderly people or a mother or a father with a stroller, and there's no elevator, so they need to carry it down because all the escalators are going up. And since there's three of them, you can switch one to go down. I mean, literally, there's a switch. You put in a key and you turn it the other way. Or if you want to go even further, there are escalators around the world. I have seen them in Munich that can go both ways. Like this one right now is running and there's nobody on it. So maybe it can stop and wait. If somebody comes from the top, it will go down. If somebody comes from the bottom, that will go up. But that would require a lot of change. We're at the small changes. So just please flip one switch to the other side so the escalator will go down. Also, maybe that requires fixing. <laughs> Just so you know that we don't want anything that is out of this universe, there is a metro station where there are three escalators and two are going up and one is going down. So it should be doable. I believe the next thing I'm going to talk about is a glitch that can be fixed with a flip of a switch. Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? And it's regarding an entrance fee to this beautiful tower on the old town square. Now, the entrance fee costs 300 crowns, which is around 12 euros. Now, there's a hack that we told you about that if you come the first hour of opening, it's actually half price. That's great. How else can you get a discount? Well, usually by buying the tickets online, right? Because you're gonna save the man work that they have to provide by printing you the ticket and giving you the ticket. You simply go online and you buy the ticket. Well, not in this case. In this case, bizarre, the ticket costs 30% more than if you buy it in person on the spot. Did I do the math right? Now, they say that it's a skip a line ticket, but as of right now, there is no line. And it doesn't make any sense because usually tickets that you purchase online from the official vendor are always cheaper. So I hope, I believe this is a glitch that can be fixed by the city with a flip of a switch by some IT guy on the website. And just to be clear, all the other towers that I run by the city have that exact thing, that if you purchase the ticket online, it is cheaper. The only reason I can think of why the city is doing this is because this one is very, very popular and a lot of people visit. So maybe that's a tip for you, pick a different tower. This below me is a bollard. It is used around cities uh, around the world to prevent cars from going somewhere. And I'm standing right on the edge of a pedestrian zone. If you go that way, thousands of tourists roam the street. So they don't want all the cars to be able to go through. That's why you put in this thing that goes up and down. And if you live here or if you work for one of the stores, you have a special card that you put to the slope here and this thing will go down. Well, this thing went down years ago and never came back up. And you may wonder why it never came back up. Well, because there are people who also want to enter this street, but do not have the card to put this thing down. So what you do is once you see that thing down, you roll over it with your car, stop with the wheel on the bollard. And as the bollard tries to go up, it burns the engine and then just remains at the bottom. So it's free for everyone. But this is actually not a story about the bollard, but it's a story about Peppa, which is that pole behind me. This is the pole you use to put your car to it and it will lower the bollard. But this little guy, I call him Peppa, has been hit and injured multiple times. This thing has been on the ground, destroyed many times as I prove with these lovely pictures. Now the city knew that the bollard is broken, but they couldn't just leave poor Peppa lying on the ground. So they put him back up. And now Honza is acting as a live bollard. So you better get out of the way, man. <laughs> There's somebody with an SUV trying to get in. So what the city did, they just stitched up Peppa together and they put two little screws on the side to hold him in place. So the solution to the 
problem here is, is just to get rid of it. Like, cut this down and toss it away. People will always find a way how to go somewhere or build like a really big barricade. By the way, Peppa has a twin brother, that guy, and he was also hit multiple times. His testicles were all out. And once again, the city just stitched him up, didn't fix it, uh, st stood him up and used little screws at the bottom. So he's there standing. We've moved to a different pedestrian zone to show you the new bollards the city is installing that actually work. No, I'm just kidding. This is not it. This is it. And you may wonder, why is it down now? Well, I guess because it's already broken. <laughs> it's the leaning bollard of Prague. Congrats, city. You're doing a great job with the bollards. You really learned from your mistakes, let me tell you. Okay, now this is only a theory. I'm not sure about it, but I think that trash can, that bin is next to the bollard because they're afraid it's gonna fall down. I'm pretty certain about it. And now if you're gonna argue and say, well, those bollards, what are they really for? Well, they are for something. They used to prevent public squares from becoming public parking lots. Yep, all these cars are illegally parked in a pedestrian zone. Má být na nádraží voda přístupná zdarma? Jasně, jasně. Yes. Yes. Pítko? Jako i záchody. We're at the Prague main train station and at a train station there's a lot of people and these people can be thirsty. And there was no place where you could either use a water fountain or fill up your water bottle. That's a common thing around the world, right? Well, the city solved that problem by installing these. You can fill up your water bottle here. You simply insert it and it will fill up. There's only one issue. You need to pay for it. I love how it says, are you thirsty? Are you rushing for a train? Well, then download our app, register in it, put in your cart. I mean, all these things are getting kind of difficult. And then you can fill up your water bottle. Now, to be very, very honest and fair, the guys behind this, this is a startup, actually reached out to me and said, would you promote our business? I guess I'm maybe doing the opposite now, but guys, come on, installing water fountains into public areas and charging people, even though it's only 50 cents to fill up your water bottle, it still is kind of weird. That should be free. And you have all the usual Green Deal stuff here, you know, the train station without plastic and so on, yet you install the biggest piece of plastic there is. There could have just been a little tube with a little turn thing that would pour water and just a little sign, drinkable, free water, just as any other water fountain around the world. And by the way, if you're gonna argue that we're at the train station where stuff is expensive, therefore you're gonna pay for your water, well, there's another place in Prague or in general that is always expensive, and that's the airport. Well, guess what? At the Prague airport, there's free water fountains to drink and fill up your water bottle. Come on. Details are important, they make a hole, and in a hole in general, Prague is a great place to visit and to stay. If you want tips on where to go, you can either watch hundreds of our videos or just use our maps on Patreon. Our link will be below the video. Hope to see you soon here. Hopefully in spring, it will be a little warmer. And in the end, I'll teach you how to say bollard in Czech, which is slopek. Slopek is a bollard. More likely you would use that as a pole, so slopek. <laughs>